Dang, that's not gonna be easy to put back together. Get fired up, it is part four of the 252 strip build. Previously saw us tear this entire bike down to the frame, and this was all that was left of it. And today we're gonna be rebuilding the engine. First up, we get the engine on the bench here, and remove the one, two, three, four, and five head bolts, and get them removed from the engine. Then I go ahead and remove the cylinder head, as well as the right exhaust control cover, and the left exhaust control cover. And on the right side, you also have to remove the connecting rod. Then the four base nuts are cracked loose and removed completely. A rubber mount is used to break the cylinder loose, and it is removed from the piston. The removal of a circlip and a wrist pin allows the piston to come off the connecting rod, as well as the needle bearing. Of course, the cylinder was honed at a dirt bike shop, so in preparation for the rebuild, all the old cylinder gaskets are removed. Then the base gasket goes, and the contact surfaces are cleaned up with some sandpaper. New O-rings are installed, as well as a base gasket, and then it's time for the new piston. Before the piston is installed, I need to check ring gap with a feeler gauge, and it happens to be perfect from factory for this. With the rings ready to go, they can get installed onto the piston, and then I grab some liquid moly premix to lubricate the wrist pin for installation. Then the two circlips are installed onto either side of the piston, and with the piston installed, the cylinder needs to go over top of it, but I'm out of time, guys, so make sure you follow for part five of the 252 stroke build.